Face it, we all procrastinate at some point. The reason we procrastinate varies from person to person. Yet, procrastination could steal a person's dream and destroy his life. Procrastination is linked to losing dreams and goals we could have achieved. It naturally steals time, hence the reason it is called the thief of time. Most may procrastinate because they are not motivated to work and some may do so because they aren't fulfilled with their work. Clarity, structure, priorities, etc. also may induce procrastination. But whatever the cause is, procrastination steals far more from you than it adds to you. The few moments of pleasure enjoyed from procrastination is often replaced with hours, days, months, and usually years of regret later. Procrastination, the attitude of intentionally putting off something you should do, may be one of the most dangerous habits against success, but it leaves more regrettable aftermaths in its wake. Now that you are still in your 20s, you are in good time to fight to overcome your procrastination habit. The longer you allow it to stay, the more it steals your dream. But if you deal with your procrastinating habit now that you're in your 20s, you give yourself a chance to succeed early and even retire early in life. Isn't that an ideal choice? In today's video, I will be sharing with you three hidden dangers of procrastination and how to overcome them. Like this video right now and also subscribe to this channel so you don't miss other exciting videos like this. Here are three hidden dangers of procrastination and how you can avoid procrastination. 1. You waste opportunities. When you keep promising things you'll never do, you could destroy your reputation, thus making it difficult for you to get promoted or gain more business opportunities. When you procrastinate once, you're almost likely to procrastinate again. If that happens too often, you may keep losing integrity and forfeiting your chance to be dependable. Once you're in danger of being reputed as untrustworthy, you would continue to slide down the ladder of success and may not be able to climb back up. Procrastination when it becomes a habit could endanger your ability to stretch yourself thin to become all that you really would like to become. You could look back years later and find out how you blew opportunities in your 20s or 30s. Opportunities you could have used to build up your life for success. 2. You endanger your health. Procrastination leads to stress, anxiety, and depression. When you chronically put off what you should be doing, you're silently demotivated to do the work again. When what you should have done remains undone, it makes you anxious and could make you stressed. This could in turn affect other areas of your life, and often it leads to depression and low self-esteem, including making poor decisions in life. Stress has been linked to various debilitating health conditions and procrastination heightens your chances of undue stress and anxiety. The more you ignore what you ought to be doing, the more likely you are to keep yielding to stress and anxiety and the more endangered your health becomes. Know that procrastination like any habit may be tough to break, but if you deal with it early and start to do what needs to be done, you'll be fulfilled, joyful, and more relaxed every time. The less you are susceptible to stress, the more productive and lively you become. 3. You could ruin your life The more you procrastinate, the less powerful and motivated you are to take actions. The more you'll keep waiting for good things to happen to you by chance, and the longer you'll keep waiting because good things don't happen by chance. And the more you keep waiting for good things to happen to you without your requisite efforts, the more prone you are to failures worries, depression, and a life of abject discomfort. Procrastination makes you wish you could turn back the hands of time so you can rectify past mistakes to straighten out your present and future. Procrastination removes from you all that you could have become and achieved in your life. And it's not a foe you should keep any closer. How do you overcome procrastination? A thousand and one articles have been written on procrastination. In my few years struggling with this habit, I've had to use a couple of those tricks too often, yet I keep sliding back into the holes of procrastination again and again, until I discovered I could play a mind trick called the scare game. I play the scare game almost every day. This is the game where I force myself to do what I'm afraid to do or what I desire to put off. I work on a project I would instead put off. I call a friend I would rather not call. I write a chapter of a book I prefer to ignore. I try a new writing form I have been too scared to try. 
I do these little things every day that I am readily scared to do and I watch my confidence and readiness to overcome procrastination grow. You can do it too. You don't have to start on big projects that discourage you so quickly. You could start today to use the scare game to challenge yourself. Work on something you've been putting off for an hour or less every day. Better you touch it for an hour daily or a specific day than push it off completely. Do every day what you were scared to do. Even if it's a few minutes on a project, you have long abandoned but has huge future rewards. Besides, the countless tips on overcoming procrastination, this is one tip I know has worked for me. Procrastination is the thief of time, energy, goals and dreams. Nipped in the bud early, now that you're in your 20s, you will watch your life soar up the ladder of success. Anyone can overcome procrastination, no matter how difficult. Play a mind trick and do what you would instead not do. Please do it now. Thank you for watching this video. Like this video and also share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss other exciting videos like this. We love you.